looking to buy a modern contemporary home in Cornwall Hill Estate. Good afternoon. This is Xavier with Luxury Homes Johannesburg. Today we are back in this exquisite estate together with your favorite tour guide, Marusha from Luxlive Property Group, who's going to take us on a tour. As always, specs on the house. This is a five bedroom, seven bathroom, double story, eight car garage with a lift. Guys, wait until you see this one. Marusha. Thank you very much. So the house is a double story and the garage is a double story. So wait to see it. I love it. This is a very unique house. We don't often come to Cornwall Hill, but I'm excited to be here. We're on top of the hill, the castle on the hill, as I like to call this house. And you will see immediately from the very grand entrance with, I would say, two and a half triple volume entrance. Beautiful setting here to either have a water feature or a very impressive statue right in the middle maybe changing lights just displaying your entrance and the size of it and just a quick look around in front of us a ton of space for parking this house is designed to entertain so you will see a lot of parking space as well as a lot of guest space inside throughout all the entertainment spaces step through the door and we into the same level of height as the outside entrance so double volume beautiful wooden ceilings and the beautiful windows obviously from the entrance and then they take you straight through to see the view of the hill and the view of Pretoria East that will unfold in front of our very eyes and I think from the entrance you can already see that this house is renovated to bring modern contemporary but still to keep some of the features of the original home that was built 20 years ago, but you'll never say it. So the modern contemporary already, you can see it with these beautiful uh, steel beams that are framing the fireplace with uh, the natural elements of the fire and um, the natural stone. And then we have the steel there as well. What do you think so far? Wow, the flow especially that massive entrance window that immediately sets the tone. I love the fact that you have a fireplace right as you come in into this open plan. I don't want to cheat, but let's have a quick look around the corner. We'll come there in a second, but yes, let's continue. Yes, I want us to start with going just through this open space straight out to see the view of this house, because this is the reason the owners bought this property. Reason number one was they needed their children to go to the best school they could find and they found Cornwall Hill College to be the best school for their children. They've since graduated and they absolutely loved it. Um, and then they started looking in Cornwall Hill Estate and they found the best possible estate and the best house they could find in the estate. So absolutely magnificent property, high up and you get the stunning views of the city and you even get the views of Ritzley Dam, which is a stunning nature reserve just across from us. And we are very central here, over and above everything else. We are on the hectare stand, and the stand is layered with multiple steps, which we will get to enjoy shortly as well. Marusha, just looking around, 10,000 squares. This looks, I don't know about you guys, but 10,000 squares is massive, especially given the position and the location of the mansion itself. You also have direct access to this copy or mini mountain, because we're already on a mountain. You have access to that copy, so you can literally go up into the nature reserve straight from your property. Do your sound downers, do your stargazing, um, or do your hill climbing and running. You know, being January, it's still meant to be sporty you know, New Year's resolutions. Thank you, I was just gonna say that. <laughs> I think if you just do 10 up and down the hill here, you'll do great. Very, so, very nice. So, stunning patio, massive. All of these doors fold open uh, and it just flows very uh, naturally and seamlessly. The full renovation was done by a master architect, so you d it doesn't feel like a renovated house. It feels like a brand new house, right? Yes, it does. We're now back into the house through those uh, beautiful uh, folded doors and we're into the kitchen. Brand new kitchen. They've incorporated a lot of unique elements 
it's really lovely that you've got this solid piece of wood this is an entire tree and i sincerely hope it wasn't killed it died of natural death and then it just got cut up and utilized throughout the house we'll see other parts of the tree throughout this house so it keeps the flow and it keeps the look and feel and style of the house and together with that earthy element we also have the modern element of the grace so this is high gloss kitchen They've incorporated also some Caesar stone in white or light gray. The rest is the darker charcoal gray color and some of the smoky tinted glass that is a must these days in the kitchen. We also have integrated fridges, wine coolers. This house is about entertaining, so you will be seeing a lot of opportunities to stack your wine, including this would be your everyday wine. I reckon 200 bottles. If you don't keep drinking. Minus one after tonight. <laughs> the Ferrari of stoves, an agar stove. Ultra modern uh, in terms of the, the quality, the finishes and the performance, but looking classic. So it, it brings you a little bit of nostalgia. You smell your granny cookies when you just look at it, but it is super modern and it is top of the range. And it has all your features very cunningly concealed be behind this uh, classic look that we see. Very, very nice. A lot of concealed cupboards here. And um, you can really hide all your bits and bobs. And as big as this kitchen is, wait to see this scullery. Normally a scullery is not a feature in its own right, but look at this scullery. It's double a normal kitchen, really. Spread your arms for a second, just to show how wide this entire section is. <laughs> and just when you thought they get crazy. <laughs> and it keeps on giving. The yes. scullery just doesn't end. Space for your double door fridge here. Automated light just came on as I walked into here. And now we have a walk-in cold room over and above that double fridge that we saw again with an automated light then we've got a walk-in pantry just across same story the light comes on as you go and then around the corner it continues into um, laundry oh, this is for the record the biggest scullery and secondary kitchen that I for myself maybe you as well have seen to date because this is massive it is and it's finished with the same quality and standard as the rest of the kitchen even down to your picture windows so while you're doing your dishwashing you get to see the beauty of your garden again 10,000 squares stunning 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 manicured garden right so heading back into the house through the kitchen taking a look at the amazing open plan entertainment space. This, the owners tell me, easily housed 40 to 50 of their guests because they love entertaining. I would say I would push it to 100 guests comfortably, but this is an entertainer's home. So I think the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna see a really unusual feature of the house. And on the way to that unusual feature, we're going to see office number one, or what I would like to call this TV room number one, because currently it is set up as an office. It is massive. Once again, if, if I was to walk the length of it, I would say this is probably a six by six meter. So it is a huge room. It's got the built-in cupboards and it's got the really beautiful wine cellar design the, setup yeah design setup there you go thank you very much and um yeah and obviously that uh, that wine barrel just suggests wine bottles should be there turn it into a tv room that's my advice further down another wine cellar so we're now on three opportunities to store our wine i don't know when we get to drink all of it but we have it and while we're here i just want to point out this is another industrial element in the house that just brings that modern look with the stainless steel, very solid glass. You can open and close it with one finger. Very beautifully done, custom made. 
So the, instead of a wooden barnyard door, you actually have it in glass. Yes. So nice. Cornwall Hill was initially conceptualized to be English um, uh, country style housing. So when they did the renovation, they basically incorporated some of the country, but they made it modern and contemporary. Now. Behold the garages. So you notice from the toys that are stacked around here that this uh, home was designed around the owner's passion for motorsports. We saw also on the way, we've got the batteries and the inverter. This is for the massive solar system that covers this entire garage space. And here you see some of the toys. Uh, it's a massive space. This is a four garage on the one side, double depth, separate garage door here, and space for cars to turn around and access the car lift. So this is where your Ferrari goes, on the lift, up and onto the second floor of the garage. Like this? I could probably lift myself, but the Ferrari <laughs> will definitely go as well. But there you have it. Stunning. So you can work on a car and of course, where does this lead you? This leads you to a mezzanine floor and this floor can stack up multiple quad bikes and it can even fit two of your sports vehicles. Of course, you have to be quite uh, good with your driving, but one would expect you to be if you purchase a vehicle like this. But at the very least, you can put one sports car up there, quad bikes and all sorts of other toys. And on top of it, you have your own bathroom, toilet and shower uh, adjacent to your garage space. Very, very impressive, Rusha. I, again, as we said earlier, this is yet another feature in this house that I've never seen before. Um, <laughs> it's one thing to have a two, four, six, eight car garage. Let's add a lift to it, make it double volume, double story. Usually it's a big mission to just have a lift, never mind a lift for a vehicle. That's, that's something else. Speechless. And uh, trust me, many a very special vehicles have gone up and down this uh, space. So it is perfectly designed and beautifully executed. This is all your setup here. If you want to have a look at uh, uh, that would be the inverter system and the solar system. This house was also because it was fully renovated inside out. It, uh, it was also fitted with the top of the range system. So control four with your automation, automating all the lights. You see hundreds of down lights here. So there is no need to worry that you're going to have to manually turn lights on and off. You have um, automation for your sound, for the alarm. Uh, the, the security around this property is at least four layer security. So the alarm can tell you where someone is moving as well as obviously control the perimeter as well as the, the interior. So the full automation here and the beauty of the space where we are. Truly, truly stunning. And I hear something in the background. You mentioned pool number one outside. This is? Pool number two. This is an indoor heated pool. And uh, what they thought of doing is have the opportunity to enjoy the amazing view that you can see through the closed door now because we just don't want the fountain to cause too much uh, noise, but you can see the beautiful view. Imagine these doors closed. This pool is utilized all year round and it is heated. It goes up to 36 degrees in winter. So imagine this on a nice starry clear night. You just look at the stars and you enjoy the pool. A steamy night. Steamy night. Cold night. Yes, so besides number two, number pool, this is number two. This is number two of your office. But again, in my opinion, you don't necessarily need two offices. So this for me would be the office space. The other one is one of the cigar lounges or I would, I would actually use this as a games room across there because it's right next to the wine. And if you're playing board <laughs> games, you need your wine. As is evident from the empty wine shelf. What we're entering here now is, I, I say this, it's the family wing, in my opinion, because you literally have one door that you can close, all your maybe messy bits can be here, if you forgot your socks on the floor, maybe no one needs to shout at you when you do that, but this is now a pyjama lounge or a TV lounge, 
as part of the family wing. Nice and cozy. They've used warmer tones in here. High ceiling. I love this wallpaper. Just want to point it out. This is like a um, almost like a leather effect wallpaper. Nice and soft. And uh, you're pointing at the main bedroom. Do you want to start there? Yes, let's. Let's start with the best. Can't wait to show you that main bedroom. It is magnificent. Very interesting design choice to have this um, pendant suspended just in front of the main bedroom entrance. So it's almost like you come here no further if you're a child. Yes. If or... you are the owner of the main bedroom, this is uh, the entry to your throne room. Yes, and if you're a Star Wars fan, you try to figure out whether there are beams coming out the moment I walk through here. <laughs> that is true. And that's where the look, I'm your father. <laughs> now, now, now. 120 square meter main suite. Two lounges. Lounge number one. Cozy. You have the same suspended ceilings that we saw throughout the, uh, the, the, the rest of the space. Strip light, bringing more nice mood, uh, color and softness into the space. Shadow lines throughout the whole house. And this beautiful space with the bay windows displaying your garden and that um, wood burning fireplace in the corner. Very nice. Very cool feature. You would think this is the cupboard for the main bedroom and maybe say it's too small, but it's not. This is actually your kitchenette. Mm, As nice. if the kitchen isn't close enough, you can quickly just make your coffee or popcorn here and enjoy watching a movie or just enjoy the garden space. Well, looking behind, again, this modern barnyard type entrance, I would the definitely not say. Yes, 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 indeed. Look at the size of this closet. Forget the thing that we just saw behind us. Here we go. The size of this closet is generally the size of an entire bedroom with a closet in a normal space. A lot of space, a lot of storage as well with that centerpiece. And yet they still chose the sliding doors, which I love that because it doesn't take away from the space at all. So even if you leave all the doors open, which some of us tend to do, you still have the full space of, your, uh, of, of the room. And through there, open plan, amazing, gorgeous, stunning, magnificent ensuite bathroom, massive skylight windows. This is now almost six o'clock and we still have so much light in the space. And look at this backlit onyx wall. Have you ever seen anything like this? Imagine this guys, look at this bath. Living stone, I believe, huh? Natural stone, absolutely magnificent. This piece, I don't know what it costs, but it must have cost a lot of money. And the, the way it is designed, it's a piece of art. And through there, if you just keep walking, you will see you've got a double rain shower inside and you've got a double rain shower outside. <laughs> so poor people can shower here <laughs> before it gets crowded. Okay, <laughs> I'll take your word for it. And from there, let's now head onto the bedroom. We haven't even seen the bedroom yet. Massive bedroom, huge space for a king size, extra length bed, windows and doors opening on both sides of the bedroom. Super cozy, um, another uh, wallpaper design there at the end of the bed, just to, uh, to create a feature wall there. Remember, the house is not sold with the furniture. The furniture goes, you make this your own, but the wallpaper choices just give you an idea of where you can add extra texture. And you can see when the furniture started being removed, it started with the mattress. So, <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> this is very minimalistic bed. I had no bed in the shot until you mentioned it. And <laughs> Not everybody's disappointed, illusion. Another wood burning fireplace. This will warm up the space yes, beautifully. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, more so. Top of the range once again. And then, of course, own private little patio just for the main bedroom. While you're outside, you, you might notice there's quite a lot of 
wiring that is almost like a in, encasing the entire house because we're on top of a hill just to point out at one of them because we're on top of the hill and obviously it will attract the, the strongest thunder and lightning during a stormy night what they've done is once again the top of the range solution to dissipate and to um, remove the danger of being hit by lightning also because the house is high tech and uh, it's fitted with uh, the top equipment so you get to enjoy your beautiful houting storms without the worry of uh, being hit by lightning very important and now let's head back towards the family section this is now bedroom number two that we've seen we've seen the main now we're going to see one of the uh, other two bedrooms that are on this ground floor space again all the bedrooms are facing this amazing view bay windows again imagine building maybe a window seat against that window and um, spending hours reading a book and just enjoying the greenery kids bedroom i love it very nice kids bedroom but the massive one full bathroom with again these skylights these skylights are my favorite favorite skylight that I have seen in a long time. Usually you get those round ones, the way they've designed these skylights and the fact that you can still open them is absolutely awesome. Server room, in case you're just wondering why we're not opening all these doors, massive linen cupboard. And now we're heading back towards the entrance of the family space. Another storeroom door. And then we enter the third bedroom we've seen so far. Same setup, pretty much the same size. They're massive, massive bedrooms. Space for your queen size bed and the lounge and these beautiful windows. It's a shame it's a bit of an overcast day because the camera doesn't quite show what we can see here all the way through into the, the wavy, wavy rolling hills. Well, literally, if, for those that know the area and there's the bathroom adjacent, but for those that know the area, Reflay Dam is just ahead of us and we are kind of looking over the highway, we're looking over all the rooftops as well and uh, Cornwall Hill having about 400 properties, multiple green areas, equestrian centre. Uh, to me, this for Centurion side or Pretoria side is the equivalent of what Waterfall Equestrian Estate is for the Waterfall side. You have your school adjacent, you have the best pizza bar, the Whisk wine bar and pizza place literally on your doorstep i'm about to get pizzas for tonight so great amenities another automated light <laughs> delayed yes delayed. <laughs> and um here is where you see the use of that um that solid wood countertop for your modern um, basins and this is a massive space eh? can easily be a bathroom with a shower so now we've done the ground floor we can head up to the top floor and here they've incorporated a bit of the natural element with the two wooden steps and then the um, light the strip light and then it progresses onto natural stone floating staircase with a mixture of steel and wood again and again, very similar chandeliers as we had as we went to the main bedroom. Yes, on a much bigger scale. And now that we've emerged upstairs, you also get to see the volume this high ceiling adds to the room. And this is already a massive room. You can see a huge corner couch here. You can see the pool table, the Toy car, I'm assuming at some point this car actually was winning races, then was just converted. And then you step out onto a magnificent patio. And from this balcony, you actually get to see the expanse of your garden. That's all yours, running from the one side, which is your massive driveway, all the way up to behind the house where we started off. This was your secondary pool. And literally your garden just then carries on through that side gate there 
into transitioning the copy. Yeah, into that copy over there. Oh, and of course on this patio, you could see. There we go. Look at the beautiful. Here Astrid you have there. yes, leading up to a uh, staircase on that side, leading outside, and you can pretty much have. Yeah, I can see the driver actually going into the garages on that side as well. I don't know if the camera shows it. Perfect. We're gonna, we can even step outside. Now you can hear the storm yes. is coming. But we're not worried because our house is... <laughs> <laughs> Let me uh, remove this iron uh, roll that I have in my hand. <laughs> Just don't hold it too high. <laughs> <laughs> I am. There you go. Again, the ceiling, guys, that we saw from the entrance. Because I think this is... Quite a statement maker. Come All I can say is the fireplace is working, <laughs> especially upstairs. You're feeling the heat. So now we are upstairs. This, I would say, is your teenager bedrooms. Now the barn doors have turned yes, Barney into proper Barney. Yes. But look at this, guys. And because it is a teenager, again, this is a suite. It's not even a bedroom. It's massive. Huge lounge area, own fireplace, own study area. Can you see the disco lights? They change yeah. color. You just get a little bit more color here, a little bit more fun. Uh, the whole room, this playful element with that wallpaper. As I said, the family absolutely loves motorsports, so everything speaks to that. With your industrial design elements here, you can. Uh, you know, hook all sorts of your mementos and memorabilia in there. And then another custom made barn door and another full bathroom with the same countertop that you saw downstairs. Truly, truly stunning, Marcia. You knew I was going to say that, but this is, wow, as a teenager, this is the place to be. Downstairs is nice, but that'll probably be for the in laws and for visitors. But Absolutely. And especially remember we have that staircase so as a teenager you need the escape route that the parents have no idea where you are ah. but you're up on the coffee park outside at the bottom of the driveway and you run across yeah except for the alarm that has multiple layers that will detect you but yes there's Here another we go. two upstairs another massive suite and i think i need to walk into the bathroom and jump around a bit again to activate the automated light I'll wait until your heart rate drops. We, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, here we go. Beautiful, very generous proportions for everything. These are all so-called kids' bedrooms, but actually each one in their own right can be a main bedroom. Uh, th this property, because we're on a hectare property, they, the architect and the owners made sure to give volume, give space, uh, be very generous in all their proportions. Once again, before we head downstairs, I just want to check the size. This is not double, this is treble volume. And then if Pretty you go, much. yeah, exactly. And you go longer, lever lower. And your steel arches are also carried through with your window frames as well. And it's just, the whole thing goes through with that Picture window across. Style in Cornwall Hill Estate. Absolutely. What about the architecture? The architecture. Yeah. So the, the, the architecture throughout the estate is English country, but some of them are more classic, some of them are more modern. Here we probably have the most modern, or one of the most modern styles that they've incorporated with just a touch of classic. And I think if we walk outside and have, get the whole, uh, the, the, the holistic view of the house, you will catch glimpses of the classic, but you will see more modern than that. Marusha, I can't get over, one, the views, two, just the driveway. That driveway runs from there all the way in the back of the house and all the way along in the back there to the section on top to access your eight car garage. And what they've done beautifully, which is what something I absolutely love, is because we are so high up, and obviously this would naturally be an extremely steep garden, what they've done is multiple massive steps of garden space. So you get to use your garden, you get the full usage of your hectare property. 
I didn't even see that from the top side. Very nicely, discreetly hidden. Look at that. Couple of steps and then we are next on level. the next level. And then a couple more steps. But I mean, just if you step and stop and look at the house from here, it's magnificent. If anything, exactly. That's probably the reason why this is, and that's the view actually you get from the street side as well. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. So from the street, your driveway is massive. And watch your step there. Ah! Uh, <laughs> what they've done here, because this is the secondary driveway taking you into your uh, lift garage space, you know, maybe to just work on your, uh, on, on your motor vehicles and so on. They've, they've created this beautiful paving, but it's still planted with grass. So no mud, no issues. But at the same time, it forms part of the whole garden space. And then taking us all the way from here where the gate is at the bottom right, all the way around. What would you say is the length of this driveway? Just out of curiosity. We can always run it up and down and check. <sighs> uh, I would say 50 meters from the, from the street up to the main entrance. And then I would say about 100 meters from the street around here. So that would make it 150 meters. Yep. And I've walked this property twice today and I'm on 10,000 steps. So we're doing okay. There we go. Guys, what do you think? Modern contemporary home in Cornwall Hill Estate. As always, Marusha's details are below, phone number, email, make sure to reach out or drop a question in the comment section and we'll take care of you there. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us on this tour today and have an awesome, awesome afternoon.